We got the news this week that John Bolton tried to sabotage peace in Korea. Here's what we have from the State Department. Officials believe National Security Advisor John Bolton made the Libya model remarks, wanted to deliberately blow up those talks with North Korea. This was all, of course, ahead of this uh, June 12th summit. According to sources, Bolton's concern was that the talks would not go in the right direction for the United States. So we're learning this was all on purpose. Michelle Kaczynski is joining me now. Michelle, this is significant. Multiple sources are saying this because there's always been that question. When, when John Bolton, the national security advisor, brought up the comparison to let's have North Korea denuclearize in the same way Libya did. You know, that was a quick denuclearization relatively. But everybody knows that the North Koreans are infuriated by this model because they're not looking at the process of denuclearization so much as they're seeing the end game for Muammar Gaddafi, which was, of course, being killed, albeit years later, by rebels that were backed by the United States. So when you hear John Bolton say this on television and then the president picks up on it and repeats it and then the vice president picks up on it and then yep. they witness the blowback of this and knowing that it infuriated the North Koreans and then everyone's angry about it. The question has been, why did Bolton bring this up in the first place? So sources are saying that he, he too knew that this would have that kind of negative extreme reaction. But he wanted to throw this big monkey wrench into the works, possibly blow up the entire process of talks, because he felt that it wouldn't end up in the U.S.'s favor in the end. Now, whether that was because he felt like North Korea wasn't going to play the game or he felt like the U.S. side wasn't going to be capable of getting everything they want, that is up for debate among these sources. Uh, but they feel that this was a deliberate attempt to shake things up that so, then angered not only the president but the secretary of state and the two yeah. of them then had a heated conversation in the white house over this this is why according to one source bolton is now cut out of the process cut out of the north korea issue at least for now and that's really stunning to see especially when he came in to make changes and to get things like this done Say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. I was getting more and more frustrated as that clip went on because they start speculating, why would he do this? Oh, he wanted to throw a monkey wrench in the process. He wants war. He wants war. Say it, say it, say it. Guys, they can't help themselves because it is an axiomatic truth on CNN and elsewhere in corporate media. That we're the good guys. So even when a top U.S. official just tried to sabotage peace talks on purpose, they, they just cannot bring themselves to say, John Bolton wants war with North Korea. He wants war. He wants regime change. He wants bombs to fall. He wants people to die. And John Bolton has a record of wanting those things. He fucking pushed for that nonstop in Iraq and elsewhere, okay? So, say it! Why the fuck are you tiptoeing around and just fucking say it, but they can't bring themselves to say it? Oh my god, it's so frustrating. Now, here's the most important point. How is that not treason? How is that not treason? The President of the United States, at least nominally, is trying to, to do peace talks with another country. A top U.S. official purposefully sabotages that because he wants war. How is that not treason? How is that not turning your back on your country? Trying to drag your country into a war, force your country to go to war, when the president is trying to get peace. John Bolton should be arrested for treason. He should be arrested, tried, and he should be found guilty. That's treason. This is treason. This is treason. And whoever leaked this information to CNN, they obviously know stuff. They obviously know that this is exactly what John Bolton was planning on doing. So, and, and by the way, we covered this at the time. And my commentary was like, look at this fucking guy, man. He's, just, he's such a jackass. He's such an idiot. Why would you, when there's an attempt to try to make peace and have talks, for you to bring up, hey, let's do the Libya model with North Korea. That means let's get them to give away their weapons and then let's topple them and kill them. That's what that means. Because that's what happened in Libya. Uh, Gaddafi gave up everything, and then we were like, ha ha, and then we killed him anyway, and we toppled him. 
So for you to say, I'll bring up the Libya model, Kim Jong-un knows what the deal is with Libya. He's, he understands what happens. So I was like, look at this fucking idiot saying this. No, it was on purpose. He's sabotaging it on purpose. Because for whatever reason, John Bolton was unable to uh, sway Trump on this issue of North Korea, apparently. Probably because there, we were already bombing eight countries and Trump's like, okay, I can't do another war. Uh, so he couldn't sway Trump. So in, instead of saying, okay, I lost this one, he tried to sabotage the peace talks. Lock this fucker up for treason. Actually, he should be locked up anyway because he's a fucking war criminal with what happened in Iraq. Lock him up for his war crimes and for treason. And I don't know why more people aren't talking about this. This is a gigantic fucking story and it was just a blip in the radar and everybody's acting like, No, fucking talk about this! Here's your real scandal! We have real scandals here, people!